plastic with you? Listen, I got a shit hot tip for you. Number five in the third. Lickety split. That Philly's one hell of a chaser. You wanna flood it? Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages, baby. <laughs> Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I think our relationship got off on the wrong foot. We should forget what happened and start over. What do you say? Look, they sent me a piece of plastic for a partner, and I'm dealing with it. But if you think we're going to be buddies, you're as stupid as you look. Here you go. Ah. Uh. that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. See? This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. Your meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories, and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. But he's got to die of something. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I, and I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and 
You spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I know you're an experienced officer, and I'd like to earn your trust. I'm sure we can solve this case if we manage to work together. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Connor, you ran out of batteries or what? I'm sorry, I was making a report to CyberLife. Uh, well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No, I'm coming. Now, what do we know about this guy? Not much, just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Hmm. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. This place stinks. Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Huh. T. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first... The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Ah, Jesus, I hate these things!
Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Any idea what it means? RA-9. Written 2,471 times. Why is it obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something.
my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Hey, Connor. Nothing.